All right, tonight we are doing what we call the Otolini Aquarium. We've got a lightly flowered piccata style bass, really just a white fish, Barramundi, to be exact, an Australian bass, a little lightly seasoned flour, a little garlic powder, onion powder. Ooh, the dog is. Let me get that going, and a little saute. Let's throw a little garlic in there. This one over here is Sicilian swordfish, oregano, swordfish, a little pancetta. Over here, we have our canned tuna in olive oil that's in our cucumber garbanzo bean tomato salad. So we're going to do salad, and over here we've got a nice rice pilaf, a beautiful rice pilaf, light little cumin, cumin flavoring. And we've got a towel in there to soak up a little bit more of the steam. Italian swordfish, just a little saute. This one needs to come up a little bit. We'll do a piccata. This one's going to have a little bit of lemon. This one's going to have tomatoes. Beautiful Sicilian swordfish. They catch a lot of swordfish just right off of the tip of Sicily. They have a huge thing. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a tormentino Torman, or something. That's a pretty amazing uh, thing with all the tuna funnel in between this one island. And they have huge nets, and they bring up the nets, and they just literally pull the tuna up onto the boats. So they're kind of famous for their swordfish. You'll find it in all the fish markets all over Italy. Salmon is really big in Italy, you wouldn't think. But the swordfish, uh, or the, you know, this style's got a little bit of anchovy, uh, olive, garlic, tomatoes, oregano, and swordfish. Ricotta, standard, a little bit of butter, garlic. We're going to throw in some lemons. Start flavoring that up a little bit. Normally I would use some capers. I don't have any today. Not really needed. We've got so many different greens and flavors and swordfish and rice and barramundi and who needs it? The lemon will do it. Nice and hot, so we can do a little splash of vino. Sauce going. Isn't that beautiful? Get a little bit of parsley in, a little bit more later. This one's got the canned tuna. All of by your, all of by your tuna, packed in olive oil. In Italy, you'll go to a deli, and they'll have a giant can of tuna in the deli. And uh, mamas will go in there, and they'll pull out maybe a half a kilo. They'll wrap it up in butcher paper and take it home like it's a treasure. Here, canned tuna was a tuna casserole or something. Tuna in a can in Italy is beautiful because they get the tuna as fresh as they can, they put it in a fantastic olive oil, and it ends up making it better than the fresh tuna sometimes because of those flavors. So, don't ever be afraid of canned tuna. If it's packed in Italy or if it's packed in olive oil. So everything is... Coming out just about right. 
We get a little there, a little there, and a little there. Wop, wop. Bingo. There we go. And we'll show you how we plate this now. Voila. The rice is steamed. You put this little towel over the top of it with the uh, lid on it and it brings up the rest of the moisture so it makes the rice extra fluffy. This is a pilaf that was done with a little bit of garlic and butter and chicken stock. This is what makes it the pilaf. So we'll go ahead and we'll do one side. The pilaf. Another side with our tuna garbanzo bean, cucumber, tomato, salad. Another side. Swordfish. side a Barramundi Otellini Aquarium. Tuna, swordfish, Barramundi, Pila. Voila. Bon appetito!